This week on You Got Game, consumption is on the mind. We'll be talking about many consumable items in many different video games. We'll get full. We will get a lot of health and a lot of points added to our scores. But one thing I've got to ask you is, You Got Game! All you SBT viewers and welcome back to another episode of You Got Game, the only show that can be enjoyed at any time of the day. My name is Ryan Kreft and join me, joining me today are two very hungry gamers known as Ashton Parker, Revenge of the Juggernaut, and George Cook, the Egg Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, doing pretty good. Doing yeah, very yeah. good. You guys, you guys excited to get a good game? Of you got game going? Oh, yeah. I guess you can say I'm pretty excited today. Oh, all right. We're going with the puns already. <laughs> Yay. So let us tell you how this whole thing is going to go off. I will list you guys. I will give you guys a series of questions relating to consumable items in video games. I will give you three answers to each question, and you will buzz in when I tell you to. When I tell you go, only go. Do not go in early, or else you'll face the consequences. But if you get it right, you get yourself a point. But if you get it wrong, the other person gets a shot to answer the question. If you both get it wrong, we'll spin the wheel and see who gets to who gets to answer the question. Each question is worth one point, except for the epic final question, which is worth two points, and the loser will be deemed. A fake gamer. I expected a little more tear out of everyone there. <laughs> That's all right there. But, however, you can redeem your fake gamer status with today's redemption challenge, which we'll get into later. With all that said, are you guys ready to get going? Yes, I think yeah. I am. I'll... Yeah. yeah, all right. Let's go Let's on to question one. Mega potions are a godsend in the Monster Hunter universe. They're staples of any successful hunt. But one thing was changed in the Monster Hunter world game that changed the way that potions, that people consumed the potions. My question to you is, what changed? Is it A, the potions could spoil, B, they could drink the potions on the go, or C, they're used as health grenades? Go! Ashton, what do you got? Uh, I'm gonna say B. B. Moving on the go. Is that your final answer? No, actually. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it to A. A. No, uh, they, they, can, they can spoil. spoil. All right. Is that your final answer? Yes. All right, interesting. However, unfortunately, that is incorrect. George, what do you believe the answer you know is? What? I'm going to go with B. That sounds like a nice quality of life change they'd put in the game. Is that your final answer? Yeah. All right, interesting. That is correct. Oh, yeah. You can move on the go while oh. you're drinking potions. Oh, my gut. Told... Oh, I didn't <laughs> go with my gut. Yeah, you got, you got to go with your gut. You got to full thought, send it spoiled. in this game. To be honest, I thought, I thought uh, having it on the go would be something they'd have originally. No, in, in the base games, they, the character would like freeze in place, take a, take a drink, and then do a little flex animation and then you could start moving again. It was oh, really annoying, and he yeah. got hit a lot doing that. Gotcha. However, interestingly enough, when they did the on-the-go thing, the health drained all the way. Like, It gradually rose instead of just all in one go. Oh, okay. And it was a little bit slower than normal, but people still liked moving on the go, because yeah, that's that real like nice. So, George, you are up one over Ashton. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Very excited, I can see. You want to move on to the second question? Yeah, no, I, I, I want that redemption already. Oh, like, he's want... already looking for revenge. The juggernaut is already looking for blood. Now it's on to question two. The Super Mario RPG is Nintendo's first dive into the RPG format with their main man, Mario. And to execute special moves, Mario and his crew needed flower points, a resource that can be replenished by... Which of these following items? A, maple syrup, B, cookies, or C, egg? Go! Ashton, what do you got? I'm going to say B. B, the cookies? Cookies? Unfortunately, that is incorrect. George, what, what do you think the answer is? I played a bit of this game. I think it might be maple syrup, but I might be getting it confused with the other Mario RPG games. Interesting. That is correct. It yeah. is maple syrup. It okay. is. And it's maple syrup. This is the original Mario RPG? 
the Super Mario RPG, the one with okay. Mallow and Gino okay. in Legend it. Of okay, Seven Stars, now that's the reason why I uh, strayed away from that one because I knew Maple Syrup is the one in Mario and in Luigi, Mario, Mario and, that's and that one yeah. I've played a lot. Oh, I was, haven't played any of the original. It was a staple that carried through to all the other Mario RPGs later on in life. Okay. Kind of a bit tricky. They didn't they didn't change with perfection, I will say. That's fair. Going into our first commercial break, George is up by two. Ashton falling behind a little bit, but he can catch up. Will he catch up? Find out later. UW Stevens Point is home. It's a university where professors know your name and get you involved in research. They inspire us to realize big dreams. At UW Stevens Point, sustainability is what we stand for. Our beautiful campus encourages exploration, developing new fields, and problem solving for the real world. It's a great place to launch your career. UW Stevens Point is home. Apply today at uwsp.edu. Welcome back to You Got Game. So when we left off, George had two over Ashton. How are you feeling about that right now? Um, I'm feel I'm feeling all right. I feel like I know this stuff is just I'm tr I'm purposely straying away. So I should just keep going with my gut. <laughs> all right, just hoping to go better with your gut. George, how are you feeling right now? I feel like you definitely should have stayed with your gut on that first question. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we would be tied by then. <laughs> Ashton, uh, I'm sorry, you seem to be getting a little messed up throughout all of you got game stuff, starting with the juggernaut from last week. It's, it's, it's been rough. It's <laughs> it's, been it rough. hasn't been great. The juggernaut was a, admittedly a little bit of my mistake, but let's move past that and go on to question three. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yep. All right, here we go. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time has loads of consumable items that can be taken and used in bottles that Link collects. Which of these bottleable items, bottleable items, that's a fun word, allows Link to use twice to heal? Is it A, a blue potion, B, milk, or C, a bug? Go. Ashton, what do you got? Um, I'm going to say B. Milk. Yes. That is correct. You are able to use milk twice in uh, one serving, I suppose. Yeah. You drink about half of it and gain, I think, around six hearts, and then you're able to drink the other half for the same amount. Pretty handy item. Although not many people use it for a favorable uh, fairy in a bottle. Yeah, no, I was about to say, I think the fairy in a bottle one is the one that everybody knows. It's the, it's the iconic. Absolutely iconic. And you also need to keep the empty one so you can mm -hmm. bounce back and get Ganon's energy bolts in the final battle. True. That's a very fun thing to do. So, Ashton, you got one point coming back into the lead. Are you guys ready for the next question? Yeah. Yep. All right. Here we go on to question four. While he never actually eats the food, Hitman's Agent 47 must find food for a gluttonous being in Hitman's Three Seven Deadly Sins. The only way to get food is to eliminate guards in some specific way. My question to you is, what does 47 have to use to acquire fish? Is it A, fishing line, B, meat cleavers, or C, the picking knife? Go. George, what do you I would say it's probably the fishing line. That sounds the most on brand. It does sound the most on brand. And in fact, that is correct. It is the fishing line. You got to walk up to somebody and do the whole like Guro thing to them. Yeah. And it's a bit gruesome, but you do get some good fish out of it. The fish are a very fun item in Hitman because you get to th you get to whack people and sometimes people comment on the fish that you hold and it's really funny. So we're going into the final question. George, you've got three. Ashton, you've got one. However, the final question is worth two points, so we still have a chance to tie it up in the final question. When we come back, we'll do this final question and reveal our redemption challenge. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Quiet on set. We'll be back in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, take Ben. Live at SPTV, mic check, audio check, news directors adjusting the sound, teleprompter running smoothly, Floor director, alert! Cameras are rolling, bring in the talent. Where's the makeup artist? Anchors ready for the news. Are you ready to join SPTV? That's a wrap, lights out. Welcome back to You Got Game! 
When we left off, George had three points while Ashton only had one. Are you guys ready for the final question? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? All right. Now let's slow down a little bit and let's talk about today's sponsor and provider of our redemption challenge. We've got a good old battle bottle from You Got Game Labs, a nice good bottle of gamer fluid. You got yourself down in a rut from gaming too much? Well, this will absolutely bring back all of your electro nano lights and make sure your performance is the top of its game. Gamer fluid. That's right. It's called gamer fluid. Aller allergens include Gatorade and uh, powdered ramen beef packets. Oh no. And a little oh. bit of salt added just for, me just for good measure. <laughs> So we've got two bottles of Gamer Fluid where one of them accidentally went into the bad side and the loser will have to pick one of these bottles and it's because I'm a good sport, I will drink the other bottle with you oh. just so we can have a little fair time. Okay. With that said, are you guys ready for the epic final question? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go on to question five. The use of food used as a time mechanic was immortalized when this 1985 arcade game pressured players by reminding them the wizard needs food badly. My question to you is, which game is this from? Is it, is it A, Dragon's Lair, B, Dark Adventure, or C, Gauntlet? Go! Ashton, what do you got? Gauntlet. That is correct! It is Gauntlet, a very, I don't know if it's like well-known game. It's definitely a game that's well uh, known about. Yeah. If you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like one of those infamous things where it's like re way too hard for normal games, stuff like that. Interesting game all around. But with that said, we are tied 3-3. We need to have a winner today, so we got ourselves a bonus question for today. Are you guys ready for the bonus question? Yeah. Ooh, bonus. All right, let's begin. The final bonus question. What I have for you is a small audio clip from a game called Backyard Baseball, where each character has their own stats, strengths, and music themes. Now, which one? Let's take a quick listen. Now, my question to you is, who is this care? Who's me? Uh, words are hard today, folks. I'm sorry. I'm eating my own words. That's the theme of today. My question to you is, what's the name of this person's theme? Is it A, Dante Robinson, B, Keisha Phillips, or C, Pablo Sanchez? Go. Ashton, what do you got? Pablo Sanchez. Is that your final answer? Yes. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. George? I'm going to go got? with Dante. Dante, is that your final answer? Yep. That is correct. Yeah. It is Dante Robinson, the foodie of backyard baseball. He's known to snack down on entire hot dogs right before he goes to the plate. And he also crushes baseballs pretty well. Ashton, I'm sorry, but you are today's fake gamer. A real unfortunate circumstance, but you do have a chance to redeem yourself with today's redemption challenge. You don't have to, but... Would you like to take today's redemption challenge? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. So I, you can sit down. You can stay there. I will ask you, do you prefer bottle number one or bottle number two? One. One. All right. Here we go. I'll take oh, a boy. swig with you just so it's all fair. So good game today. And yeah. bottoms up. No. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, no, Ugh, that was bad. You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. You're fine, all right. Ugh. You don't have to drink it all. It's just a quick taste to see which one is which. <laughs> yeah, Ugh, that was so, rough. So, <laughs> you are redeemed of your fake gamer status. We are all gamers here today. Thank you, Ashton. Thank you, George, for coming. And thank you, SBTV viewers, for watching. If you want to see more, then click subscribe and ring the bell to see more of our content. And if you have any more gaming knowledge of your own, comment down below and we might use it for a future episode. I'm Ryan Kreft with You Got Game, and we'll see you later.